I got lost in the mansion. Don't make a federal case out of it. You were looking for Maggie, so you decided to enter an empty room, turn the light on and shut the door. Did you think that Maggie was underneath the bed or something? You have some nerve, lady. Oh. Moral indignation from a murderess? You know, you are not going anywhere until you tell me what you were doing in my room. Fine. I was looking for evidence. Evidence that proves you have been gaslighting Abigail all along, just as she said you had. Because I don't have any difficulty believing that you could be that cruel, that cold-hearted, that evil. Nothing that you say will make a difference. Abigail is certifiably insane, okay? And so are you, if you believe anything that she says. It's JJ, Jennifer, Chad, oh, you could ask Stefan. They've all agreed that Abigail has lost her little mind yet again. Honey, you can fool everybody. You don't fool me. I know the kind of person you are. I know what you're capable of. And I know how to put you back in your cage. Dementia at your age, right? Gonna start drugging me too? Like you've been drugging Abigail? Wow. I'm afraid you're, you're sounding a bit paranoid. No. You're afraid I'm on to you. You're afraid I... You know what? I think... I should have called Doug. Tell him that you've been in my room unspooling. I knew all along you never felt any deep regret about shooting Nick. That was all just a big load of hot, steaming bull. You really enjoy doing evil, don't you? You know, I didn't regret killing Nick because the man tried to rape me, okay? He got what was coming to him. Now you're the judge, now you're the jury. Tell me, is Abigail gonna get what she has coming to her too? Do you know what Abigail did to me? Do you have any idea that because of Abigail, I can't even have children anymore? Is that something that I'm just supposed to forget? Sounds like a confession to me. <sighs> you know what, go ahead. Search my room gonna find anything incriminating. I don't have to search anymore, because I found this. Where did you get that? You know where I got it. Must be mighty important for you to have hit it so cleverly. That's nothing. Definitely not nothing. Do you know what it is? That's private property, okay? It's, it's just, it's the test results that prove that I will never be able to have children again. And it's very painful to look at. That's why I had it put away. Oh, so sad. Well, since I don't believe one word out of your lying mouth, I'm going to see for myself what it is. Give, give, give that to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chad is the father of the baby, and you didn't tell him. And you didn't tell Abigail. You mendacious little... your best friend she stood by you no matter what and then when she was in trouble when she got pregnant was afraid it was Stefan who was the father and confided in you you took that information and ran with it you you made her worst nightmares come true how could you be so cruel not just a Chad not just to Abigail what about the baby how could you put that child in the hands of a monster the latest spawn in the Demera sociopathic family. Well, guess what, Chiquita? The jig is up. And this little old, withered, demented crone is going to make sure you pay for everything you've done. First, I'm going to show it to Chad. And if I'm this angry, you can just imagine how Chad is going to feel. You can't do that. That's a mistake. This is all a mistake, Julia. It's over, Gabby. Now 